Hey guys, welcome back, and today I'll be walking you through how to unlock a newly released Steam game a little early using a VPN, so you're not stuck waiting for midnight in your local time zone. I'll explain exactly how this works, how to do it safely without violating Steam's terms, and I'll also share which VPNs are best for this based on speed and ease of use. And just a quick heads up, if you do decide to try one of the VPNs I mentioned today, I've included links in the description with any discounts or full reviews to help you get the best deal possible. Now let's use the release of a big title like Call of Duty as an example. Here's how the whole process works step by step. So first, you'll want to make sure the game is already purchased and preloaded in your Steam library. Then, before the official release time hits in your region, go ahead and completely exit out of Steam. You'll also want to double check that it's not still running in the background. Next, open up your VPN and connect to a country where the game has already gone live. For most releases, Australia or New Zealand are great choices since they're ahead of nearly everyone else, time zone wise. You can also try the developer's country like Germany or Italy depending on the game. Once you're connected, relaunch Steam. It'll now recognize your VPN's IP address and it'll think you're located in that region. So if the game is already live there, it should unlock right away. At this point, you can go ahead and finish any remaining preload or download and then just click play when it becomes available. And once it officially unlocks in your own time zone, you can disconnect the VPN entirely and keep playing as usual. So why does this even work? Well, Steam uses your IP address to figure out where you're located and that's what determines when the game unlocks. Without a VPN, you're just tied to your local time zone. But when you connect through a VPN, it changes your IP address to match the region you selected. And since some countries get access earlier due to time zones, it's kind of like digitally jumping ahead in line. It's not a loophole in the system. It's more like taking advantage of how Steam's regional rollout works. Now with that said, there are some important things to be aware of. Steam's terms of service were updated in 2025, and using a VPN to change your store region or to buy games from another country is now considered a violation. They've started checking not just your IP, but also your account's registered country and even the region tied to your payment method. So the key thing here is this, using a VPN just to unlock a game you've already purchased a few hours early is still generally fine, but using a VPN to buy a cheaper copy from another region, that's where you could run into problems. Steam has gotten much stricter about that, so I definitely wouldn't recommend trying to spoof your location for purchases. It's just not worth the risk of getting flagged or having account issues down the line. Now aside from unlocking games early, there are a few other reasons gamers might want to use a VPN. For one, it's a great way to access region-locked websites or services whether that's game launchers, streaming content, or just sites that aren't available in your country. It also helps protect your privacy on public Wi-Fi or when you're downloading large files like game updates or mods. And for anyone who torrents, a VPN adds that extra layer of protection by keeping your IP hidden from peers and trackers. So even if you're not using it to unlock games early, it's still a solid tool for security and access. Now, if you're wondering which VPNs are best for this, there are three I'd recommend. ExpressVPN, NordVPN, and Surfshark. All three have fast servers in places like Australia and New Zealand, which is key for early unlocking, and they all work great for streaming and gaming in general. So, starting with ExpressVPN, this one's been the most reliable for me personally. They've got over 3,000 servers across 105 countries, including solid coverage in Australia. The lightweight protocol also helps keep speeds fast and stable, and I've found it especially useful for big downloads or streaming at the same time. It's a little more expensive than the others, but if you want something that just works every time with minimal setup, Express is a great choice. Next is NordVPN, which has over 7,900 servers in 165 countries and uses their NordLynx protocol for top tier performance. It's really well balanced overall, good for torrenting, fast enough for online gaming, and still handles early unlocks without a problem. They also have features like threat protection and specialty servers, which make it a really flexible option depending on how you use your VPN. And then there's Surfshark, which is probably the best budget pick here. They've got over 3,000 1,200 servers spread across 100 countries, you still get fast speeds, wire guard support, and strong performance whether you're streaming, torrenting, or just browsing securely. Plus, it's the only one of the three that lets you connect unlimited devices on a single account, which is a huge plus if you're sharing it with others or using it across multiple platforms. By the way, all three include a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you can test them out risk-free. And just a reminder, I've included links in the description to the best available 
available discounts and full reviews, so feel free to check those out if you're comparing plans. So hopefully you found this guide helpful. If you did, please leave a thumbs up as I always appreciate that. And if you've got any questions about using a VPN with Steam or you ran into anything during setup, feel free to leave those down in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer as many as I can. Otherwise, thanks so much for watching and I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video.